Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katrina and today I'm going to be showing you how to sublimate wooden letters. So let's get started. baby thing because my one of my cousins one of my favorite cousins who I helped raise is having his first baby I've done this before but I used to use these letters on photo props so I thought this would be an awesome project to show you what all you can do with sublimation yes we can sublimate tumblers and shirts and all other objects but you can sublimate wooden letters as well so I got these wooden letters from Hobby Lobby see the tag is still on this one they were 40% off so these letters are much cheaper than the ones at a little bit cheaper than the ones at Walmart and the ones at of course Michaels when you get them on sale so they were 40% off so I got them and I like these because the person I'm giving them to they can either choose to stand them up or there's a hook that you can either hang it on the wall so I like this option much better so for today's project what you'll need is laminate pouches I got these from Walmart this is the 20 pack and of course you'll need heat tape an exacto knife and can't do this without a heat press you can use an easy press but I'm gonna be using this one um, this is my 8-in-1. I did a full unboxing on it. This one is going to be perfect because it's not the clamshell style. It'll be able to come straight down, give even pressure over the letters. So this one will be great for pressing these wooden letters. So now there's two ways that you can do this. Of course, you can just print out your image and you can just hope and pray and you can try to make sure that your design gets right within the letters. Some people actually scan the letters. You can scan it, bring it into your Cricut design space and you know, then you can actually bring in your background image. I didn't do it that method. I did it the simpler way, but I kind of, you know, had to keep playing with it and I wasted a little bit of sublimation ink. So I finally got it right. Of course, I measured all my letters. Wherever I wanted to place my designs at because I have clip art that I'm placing on my different backgrounds. So my backgrounds that you'll see, I got them from Shutterstock because I was trying to really find some nice royal themed backgrounds and I wanted them all differently. I did not want them all the same. And then I just placed my clip art on top of the background. So now the first step that I'm going to do is actually go ahead and press the laminate sheets onto each of the letters. I'm going to go ahead and start heating this up to 400 degrees. So the scotch laminating pouches comes in packs of 20, but you can split them in half and easily double the amount, make them 40, because you do not need a pouch to laminate these letters. So you just separate it, and now you have two, because of course, they're letter side, so that's definitely enough to cover one full letter. Okay, the heat press is ready. So all I'm going to do, I have my letter right here. I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to place this glossy side up. I'm going to put a piece of paper underneath it. You can trim away the excess, you know, first, but I'm not going to. You want to make sure it's as flat as possible. You want to make sure you don't get any bubbles in it because you want everything to adhere to the letter so that way your image can adhere to it as well. So I'm going to press this for about, you know, 15 seconds at 400 degrees. The longer you press it because that is wood, um, I guess that's wood. I noticed that before when I press um, pressed it, sometimes the, the wood that's underneath it will come through. That should be enough to get that to adhere to it. So let's see how that did. So you see, it's a little bumpy. So I did just trim that away just a little bit. I'm just gonna do another letter. I'm not gonna put anything under it this time. Again, shiny side. I'm just gonna put a paper on top of it. And I'm going to press. Goodness. Okay, lifting up. Okay, and that looks pretty 
good. Okay, so I'm gonna trim this off. Okay, so now I'm just gonna trim off the excess of this one. You don't wanna trim too close because you definitely want to allow a little border for when you get ready to supplement because it will shrink a little bit once you put it under the heat press again. And you wanna make sure you have the laminate around the entire letter so that way, of course, you can supplement the entire thing. So I just printed out some nice images, some backgrounds, and I put some clip art on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it face down, face down, so that way I can get it where I want, positioned in place, my bow tie. And then I'm gonna take some heat transfer tape, and I'm gonna use that to hold it down in position. I think that piece was a little bit too small. So I'm gonna get another piece. Just so it doesn't move, don't need a whole lot. But this will allow the letter not to shift. Okay, making sure that this, the hook part, is at the top. And then I'll lay it face down on the heat press like that. Let me just get the second one ready. This one is a real simple one. So I'm just going to line it up. Same thing. Heat tape. And you want to print your images in reverse. You want to put your images in reverse so that way they will come out in the right way facing up. So make sure you mirror your image so that way when you sublimate it, it'll come out on the correct way. I am going to use a Teflon sheet and I'm going to put one side down just like that. My image is taped down, and I'm just gonna fold that over. Again, you can use butcher paper, you can use Teflon, you can use anything that you have. Okay, 400 degrees, and now I'm gonna press it for 60 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. Ooh, it is smoking. Those gases are releasing. Those colors should have come through. So let's see if we have a perfectly sublimated letter onto the wood. Remove the tape. And look at that. Oh, it's really hot. It's really hot. Should have let it cool down a little bit, but come on. Look how beautiful that looks. I'm gonna just let it cool off. I'm gonna do the next one. Okay, so this is the next one. I'm gonna do the same thing. Fold it over. This Teflon sheet is pissing me off today. Bend, fold. <laughs> okay. Why are you not being flexible today? <laughs> okay, and here we go. Same thing, 60 seconds on the clock, 400 degrees. And it's hard to do it from that side. Okay, this one should be ready. I think I'm gonna let it just cool off for like a few seconds. Psych. I want to see it. I'm impatient. I'm impatient. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's keep going. So I'm pressing all the letters and I just wanted to show you how sometimes when you do these wood ones, sometimes you'll get like 
the wood that comes through, but that's perfectly okay because I think it just adds character to it. You'll get the wood to come through. So I just always smooth it out to make sure the laminate is laid down as flat as possible. So that way I'll get a nice smooth finish when I get ready to sublimate. This is the last letter. I make sure it's placed in the center of the heat press so that way it can get pressed evenly. Okay. I'm gonna rub it out, make sure everything is smooth all the way to those edges. This is the one I have for this. I actually like this better so I cut that I'm gonna stick that on here and you see this is really light at the top so I'm just gonna do like a split letter try to get it to the halfway and then I might put something you know right in the middle of that so I'm gonna take that down okay this is the split letter let's see how this one came out I'm so curious Ooh only a little piece that would have been perfect i wonder if i put that back on there i think i might try to put that back because y'all see that this one is so nice the line is perfect but we need that part supplemented and that bottom so we're gonna do that one again i'm just hoping that each and every letter comes out perfect That one came out so nice. That one came out so nice. I'm gonna show it to you once everything is done without this crazy ring light. Ring light be really messing stuff up. Okay, turn it over. I always put it face up. Put it just like that. Gonna add a new sheet on top of that. Fold that all the way over and bring that back. 60 seconds. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I am using the Hippo ink and Hippo sublimation paper with my Eco Tank 2800. Because I know you guys are gonna ask. That's how that one came out. Really nice. I got the prints almost exactly centered. So I'm happy about this one. I should have had it vice versa. But that's okay. Okay, so these are all the letters so far. Hope you can see them all. As you can see, I kind of messed up the R and the end just a little bit. So I'm gonna see what I can do about that. I might put like a border around it. So that way, you know, I can finish it off really nice. But I'm gonna show you how you trim it off. I trimmed off one of them, but I'm gonna still have to finish off the edges and I'll show you how to do that. So now I'm just gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna cut as close. Before we was leaving a border, now we wanna cut as close to the letter as possible get it all the way okay same thing over here I'm going all the way up to the end be very careful with your fingers and I'm just going all the way around You can take a mini heat press as well to like seal it down and I'll probably do that. But anything left over, but I'm just trying to get right up close to the wooden letter. Now this is just a great gift idea because while everyone else is giving diapers and clothes that the baby is going to grow out of really fast you've given a gift that stands out and that will last for years in the child's nursery so 
I just think this is an awesome gift to give, especially for, you know, for kids. Because they who doesn't love their name on the wall? So I'm just going to try to get as close as I can. So I do think that I'm going to add some vinyl around the sides so that way I can really, you know, finish it off. I want a nice finished look. You know, this is going to my cousin, um, this is going to my cousin, you know, so I want it to look really nice and I don't want it lifting up. So I'm going to leave that and I'm going to mash it down with the mini, mini press. Okay, the rest I'll fold over and burn over with the mini press. Okay, so I'm just going to do the rest. I'm repeating the same steps for each letter. So I'm just taking the edge of this, the mini heat press, and I'm literally just mashing down just to get everything. I did some of them just to show you. It won't get all of it, but it's going to get most of it. And I'm going to seal this with Mod Podge only because I want it to last. So I'm going to seal it with Mod Podge. But taking this and just pressing it, rolling it over. So as you see, I'm just, just take that, hold it over. Because you can feel like all of this is up. So I'm just going to take it and bring it over and melt that down to get that to stick to last so hopefully it doesn't come up so I'm going to just do this all around the sides it gets really difficult for the inside spots, so I just ooh, ooh. some people use a heat gun, but I find that it doesn't lay down well with the heat gun. And that's how I lay it down. So I redid this one. I cut it, sliced it in the middle, and took off the bottom part, and just redid the bottom. So I'm going to put a gold vinyl strip in the middle, so you won't even see that. Yes, this is time consuming, but I just find this to be a much better method to get it down because they will lift up. So I am going to seal this with Mod Podge only because I'm giving this as a gift and I definitely want this to be long lasting. I want it to last. I don't want nobody saying nothing about no gifts I give. So I'm just going to finish this up and I'll show you the final results once it's all done. Because I'm going to add some vinyl decals to it to make it pop and stand out. And I'm going to Mod Podge it. So now I'm just going to apply Mod Podge to each of the letters. I'm not sure how many coats I'm going to do just yet. But... I'm bringing it all the way down because I want to make sure I get the sides, everything sealed in.
making sure I'm bringing it over. And I gotta get that inside. Making sure it goes down in there. Once I get all the size, then I'll just wipe it straight down once again. So that way I don't get any streaks. Now I've never seen anyone do this, but like I said, I'm doing it because I want to make sure that mine lasts. I already did these. See, they're already drying. It's going to dry clear. It's going to dry clear so that you do not have to worry about. This was the very first one that I did. So as you can see, it's drying completely clear. So I'll let that finish drying. Just want to make sure all those sides are all the way down and stuck down and I don't have to worry about them coming up. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I add these little heat transfer vinyl glitter decals just to give it a little bit more pop. All I'm using is regular HTV glitter vinyl. This is the HTV heat transfer warehouse glitter vinyl that I got. And... Because it's heat transfer vinyl, and all I'm using is my small handheld mini press. This one is the one from Isotoyo that I have reviewed a while back. So I'm adding just little small embellishments just to make it pop on all the letters. I'm going to show you everything once it's done. So I cut out these tiny little stars. And of course I use my Cricut Maker. So I put it on the glitter vinyl. But I put it on more, and I still was having a little bit of issues cutting some of the stuff out. Just because the Caesar vinyl is really thick, and I was just too lazy to tweak it. So I'm just going to, okay, so I'm just going to see where I'm going to place them at. Just giving it a little pop. I didn't want this to be the only letter without any, any zhuzh, any bling, any glitter. So just putting on some little stars. One of my stars got kind of messed up, but guess what? We're going to put it anyway. Trying to just space them out. Don't want it to be too overcrowded. I had one more star and it got messed up. So guess what? We're just going to put it down here at the bottom. It's like a half a star. Ha <laughs> Okay, so this really does not take long at all. All you got to do is just heat this for like... Five seconds, seven seconds, and it's gonna stick. That plastic carrier is gonna come right off. So just because it says heat transfer vinyl, you can still put it on a hard surface. 
and do this bottom one really careful. Oh, and it turned a little bit. So look at that. Now I'm just going to remove the carrier sheet. And this is after it's dried, after I had put on the Mod Podge. So as you can see, it dried clear. It now has a little glossy finish. I'm just trying to be a little bit extra careful because I do have that glue on there with the Mod Podge. But now look at that. That just looks even better. And that's on there. So that one looks good. That's this one. I'm going to show you them all up close. I added some of these. I think I am going to add just, just because I have an extra gold strip, I'm going to put that on here just to cover up some of the imperfections. I'm just going to rub that on the side. Trying to get it lined up. Ooh, I'm ashy. My cord is a little short. Don't mind my ash, y'all. Sorry. I got up so early this morning to finish this because I have to get this in the mail. My cousin and his girl better like this. This took forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. This one's just a little shorter. You know, because everybody buy diapers, everybody buy clothes that the child going to run out of so fast. So I said, let me just make them something custom. You know, and because I don't live in New York anymore, I haven't seen the nursery. The nursery isn't always, in, the nursery isn't even, you know, fully complete, they said. So I'm hoping that this goes well, or either they will match the nursery to this. <laughs> Pull that off, and now I just have, now I could paint that, but I'm not going to because it's just not all that necessary. But just to give it a little zhuzh, y'all let me know what y'all think. Okay, so I'm going to show you the big reveal, the final reveal for everything. Everything is finished, so that way you can see all the letters up close. So this is the finished name. Let's take a closer look. This is the J. Because I had this too high, the image is too high, that's why I decided to add the decals. Added some HTV at the top as well. So I just think that the HTV, the glitter vinyl gives it, you know, a pop. This is the one that I had messed up. Well, I didn't mess it up, but it didn't sublimate all the way. So all I did was slice the laminate sheet, take off the bottom part, and I redid it. And because I had a split, I added the decal in between. You can literally add vinyl decals to hide everything. This is the one I showed you guys up close with the stars. Got some embellishments on the side. I only embellished the middle of the A here. That one was really kind of hard to do to get in between. I think it's coming off. I got to fix it. But this is the end. I really like the end. Got the glitter at the top. And then I added for a special touch because it is a junior. I added the JR down at the bottom. Hopefully you guys can see that really good. The light. There we go. So this one came out really nice. So definitely try this out. This is something that you can do for your kids. You can sell this. This is a great, huge, big money maker. You can do any pattern, any design. I did a nice animal safari theme for uh, a big birthday photo shoot that I had. It came out really nice. That's what started all of this. But you can really do this for anything. Princess, favorite character, favorite Disney movie. In any name, any phrase, it doesn't have to be a name. You can do a phrase, you can just do a number. Um, so you can get these letters anywhere. Again, I got mine from Hobby Lobby at 40% off. And these are the ones that you can hang in the back as well. Or you can stand them up, stagger them just like this. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know if you tried it, if you have a different method. If you have any questions, definitely hit me up. I'll gladly answer any questions. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification down below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Jordan, Aaliyah, you better like it. You better like it. Hope you guys love it too. Bye.